93.7 The Beat. H-Town's real hip-hop and R&B. 93.7 The Beat, we are backstage at the H-Town Beatdown with none other than the man who is closing the show. So that is big. Future free band millionaire, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Hey, it's good to see you, man. man it's good to see you. First off the rip, um, congratulations on Future. Yeah, appreciate it. Man. Yeah, man, you know, Sweet. beautiful family. Thank Real you. happy for Sweet. you, man. Appreciate that. All right. Could you have ever imagined that your career would take off the way it did? Ah, oh, man, I hope for the best, and I know my hard work, man, to pay off at the end of the day. I'm gonna continue to just put music out and see where we go from there, you know what I mean? Um, I wanna go beyond my expectations and just take me to another place that I never thought I'd be at. You know what I'm saying? That's what music do. It just have you in places that you never thought you would be, but at the same time, you want to make sure you um just make the most of your opportunity and just be prepared for when whatever happens. You want to be prepared for success and just know how to take on all the good things, all the great things that come. And when every, anything negative get in the way, you want to be able to know how to maneuver through those situations. Absolutely. Absolutely. So is that a part of what astronaut and the whole future situation is about you just see yourself differently on a completely different level from the average Yeah, yeah, that's artist. why I'm branding myself from the beginning to just be different. It's just another way for me explaining and just saying I'm different without saying too many words. When I say astronaut, it's just my music. I make time to do this. Just, you might don't get it today, but a year from now or maybe a day from now, you know what I'm saying? Ten years from now, you'll be able to understand why I dropped Pluto you know, and what was the real meaning behind it. And it's just to see something before it happens. And just have that potential to always uh, to create all your moments. I created every moment up until now, you know what I'm saying? I always made my own moment and, uh, and just shed my own light on it and just put something extra to it by saying Pluto or Astronaut, right. Future Hendrix, or whatever the case may be. Well, we, we appreciate it, you know? Like, one of the things I really appreciate about your music and even you is uh, your range. Yeah. Like it just seems like your range is unlimited. Like, you know, you could do from like slow music, from R and B to turn up music to rock to EDM. You know what I mean? So there's no real limits and that's you know, that's what music is all about, not having those type of limitations. You know what I mean? Nah, man, I always feel like I wanna be versatile from the beginning. I'm like real, you know what I'm saying? Versatility is everything to me. Me being an artist, but besides that, me being a writer, you know, you gotta showcase your versatility, be able to for other artists who want to work with you and be able, you know what I'm saying, so you can get other jobs besides just being an artist and performing all the time. You know, I love being in the studio, so that's another way to get the music out. Without me, I always have to put a mixtape or an album out. You know what I'm saying? It's a um, final way to facilitate the music through other artists and, and let it live that way on the radio. Some records on the radio, I never tell anyone that I write because I just, that's how much I love music. I love hearing it. I love people. Even um, if you're not performing it. Yeah, yeah, I love seeing the change people's life and just seeing the way the uh, fans react. Not on a showing off level, because you already humbled yourself by saying, like, you keep of it course. low key. But yeah, give, yeah. Us, give us one, give me one song that you wrote. But just uh, just a surprise. Uh, I wrote Blueberry Yum Yum for, uh, on a Red Light District album. For oh, Ludacris. for Ludacris. Yeah. Wow, all right, that's dope, man. That See, that's like something we didn't know about for you, Seven years ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. Now, where do you, like, I want to do one thing. I want to say, your name is Future, but let's take you back a little bit now to the past. Like, before you became famous, before you got into the studio ripping it, who were some artists that you were looking up to, like, yeah, I'm going to do that and then surpass it, you know? Uh, I would never say I was like, man, I'm going to do this and do it and surpass it. I always looked at every artist, every artist uh, individu individually and just be able to, uh, take something from each person, you know what I'm saying? That what, that what you consider you want to take from it and um, you want to want to apply it to your career or whatever, however you may want to see it. But, well, then who did you admire? Uh, there's so many artists, man, just from R&B to rap to rock and roll, like from Bill Biscuit to Green Day, to uh, Anaz to uh, uh, Lauren Hill to Soldier Slam to right. Juvenile to Master P to um, Too Short, E-40. All the way down here to um, like Pimp C and CGC. Yeah, that's a big range. That's a big sure. range. You know what I'm saying? Barry Wayne. It's different. I different range of artists that I was able to uh, cater my style after and just pick up something from it. 
That's what's up. Now, do you see yourself like uh, getting into the fashion part of hip hop where you come out with your lines? And yeah, stuff yeah, like three that? bands. We have the clothing line right now. It's doing great. We're doing, just doing the merch. I want to start it off with a simple simplicity working right now. So you don't want to go over the top. Right. And then your idea don't work because you put too much into it. So just start off simple and see what it takes. All right, that's what's up. So we have a lot of stuff to look forward to with you, man. Listen, talking about that, your name is Future. Your son's name is Future. Yeah. 10 years from now, where do you see yourself? Uh, man, where would my hard work take me? Like I said, I don't put no limitations on the work that I put in. I just want to be prepared for what I get done. That's what's up, man. Listen, you're a class sack. We're glad to have you on the show. And the fact that you're closing the show, like I mentioned in the beginning, it means a lot to us here on 97 The Beat. It also means a lot to the city of Houston. And I thank Houston for bringing me out, 93.7 The Beat. I'm going to give him a show to remember. That's what's up, man. Three bad millionaire. Hey, man. Future in the Future. building, man. Future. We wish him all the best in all his endeavors, man. Thank you so much for hey, being man, a part you. of history with us tonight. Man, I appreciate y'all. Again, salute the DJ for making it happen. That's what's up, man. The all-new 93.7 The Beat. H-Town's real hip-hop and R&B.